FPA Distance Announcement, Week of 116. Riddle of the Week, what has four legs and one back but can't walk? What am I? Academic. Core 4 and Student Leadership Community. Core 4 Community Tips. Log into the student portal first thing every morning and log out each night. Attend live learning sessions and complete daily assignments. Set an alarm every day to remind you to log in and attend your classes. Why is it important for future work skills? This is the this is like clocking in and out each day. This is like attending work and doing your job once you are there. This is like being you know, on time for your work day. <coughs> High School Council and Department. Check out the most recent updates to the on the Resource Center. Helpful information about Act 158 artifacts have been posted. Attention seniors, you should be working on it on the FAFSA and your college applications. Please talk to your counselor if you have any questions. If you are taking the winter keystones, information will be mailed out. Dual enrollment and dual credit opportunities. PA Distance has teamed up with two state community colleges to create a free and amazing opportunity for our students. Contact your counselors for more information. There is an upcoming virtual presentation for the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics tomorrow at 1.15 p.m and a campus tour of the Philadelphia Technician Training Institute, also tomorrow, January 18th at 10 a.m. There's also a 9th through 12th grade student program survey. Attention all 3rd to 12th grade students. PA Distance is pleased to announce its collaboration with FEV Tutor for students in grades 3 to 12. You can request tutoring in two different ways. There's the on-demand button for 24-7 homework help and support, or by scheduling a one-on-one -on -one targeted tutoring session for recurring daily or weekly support. Students or parents can log into the FEV Tutor portal by using the PA Distance Learning email address and school password. There is a video for more information. Here's more information on FEV Tutor. Take a second to pause and read this if you would like. Innovation Collaboration. Come meet and collaborate with our research and development coordinator. Together, we will develop new ideas and innovations we can bring to our students at PA Distance Learning Charter School. This is on January 18th, 2023, from 12 to 1. Here's important information regarding the McKinney-Vento Homeless Assistance Act of 2001. There's resources for common signs of homelessness, access to food for students experiencing homelessness, food resources by county, and school help for homeless children with disabilities, and information for parents. Next up is graduation with legacy. Next we have graduation. The 2023 graduation ceremony is on Saturday, June 10th at 11 a.m. in Harrisburg, PA. We have in-person and virtual opportunities. There's more information to come, so stay tuned for that. Next, we have the yearbook pictures for the 2022-2023 yearbook. Pictures must be received by Friday, April 7th. Any pictures received after that date will not be included in the yearbook. So make sure you submit to your pictures so that you can have a spot in the yearbook. Next, we have community engagement. We have the last January field trip of the month which is in the Heinz Hall, Maine, in Pittsburgh for grades 4th, 5th, and 6th on January 24th at 11 at 10 a.m. You have one more day to RSVP, so make sure you do that before tomorrow if you are interested in that. Next, <clears throat> we have the January virtual field trip. 
which is the music behind the games we love for grades 6 through 12. Together, we will join speaker Owen Nash as we take a dive into the music behind the games we love to play. That's on January 31st at 11 a.m. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go. We have the upcoming community hours of Miss Antoinetta on January 18th at 4 p.m. for the STEAM activities at the Pay Distance STEAM Hub. Next, we have Miss Janie on January 25th at for snow tubing in Altoona. Time unknown. So stay tuned for that. There are some February field trips coming up in, on the 7th, 9th, 10th, and 22nd if you would like to check them out. Now on to School Choice Week. So what is School Choice Week? School Choice is the process of allowing every family to choose the kindergarten through 12th grade education options that best fit their children. Because you live in PA, we support School Choice and so we will be celebrating School Choice Week. Tell us what you think about School Choice. What does School Choice mean to you? We want to share your stories about why School Choice is important to you and your family. There is a form for you to fill out to leave some feedback on your experience at PA Distance that can be shared on social media. School Choice Week events. On Monday, there, the form will be shared. On Tuesday, the, it is a wear yellow day, and you can submit your picture or video with that link. On Wednesday and Thursday, there's no school, but you can do I Spy My School Choice or an indoor and outdoor scavenger hunt. Friday, the 27th, there will be a recap of the week where we share pictures, videos, and stories that have been shared with PA Distance. Join us at the School Choice Fair, where David L. Lawrence Convention Center, when Saturday, January 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The event will include live music, free snacks, drinks, balloon artists, face painting, and much more. For free tickets, you can visit the link, and to let us know you are coming, you please fill out that form. For after school and activities, we have Zayomara Caban's watercolor landscape in grade 11 drawing and painting. That's a really good painting, and sorry if I butchered your name, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. And next we have the annual PA Distance Chess Tournament, sponsored by the PA Distance Chess Club on Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. Registration is open to anyone in grades 3 to 12, and prizes will be awarded. Registration deadline is Wednesday, February 1st, and you can reach out to chess club sponsor, Mr. Maley, for more details. The club spotlight this week is the Magic the Gathering Battalion. The first two questions are in an interview with Mr. Middlemiss, and I put input as being a member of the club on the third question. If you would like, you can pause and take a second to read this, and I would highly recommend joining if you are in grades 6 to 12. It's a very fun experience, and you can meet a lot of really great people. The riddle this week was, I have four legs and one back, but can't walk. What am I? I'll be showing the answer in three, two, one. Pause and take a second if you need, but here it is. It's a chair. And that's all, and that's all for this week. We hope you have an amazing rest of your day and rest of your week. And this was brought to you by Ryan Banks, Ryan Campbell, Legacy Folks, Jackson Jericho, and Hannah Noah. Have a great day.